So just recall, we know that an inductor in time domain can be represented two ways in the Laplace domain. So this is the series combination and this is parallel combination. And similarly for capacitors. In this question, we'll be using uh, this option. Okay, now consider the circuit and figure. So this is the circuit. Find the value of the voltage across the capacitor. So we need to find this voltage across capacitor. Assuming that the value of VST, that is the supply voltage, is 10 UT, and assume that at T is equal to zero, the initial condition, that is the current is minus one, flowing through the inductor. If inductor current at T is equal to zero, or we call it I zero is minus one, and the capacitor voltage at T is equal to zero, that is V zero T, uh, uh, sorry, V zero is plus five volt. So first of all, we write this voltage available here, and we have to find this one, and let's call it V one T, the voltage across the capacitor. So convert this circuit into uh, the S domain. We know uh, that the voltage or 10 UT can be written as 10 over S. And if you don't uh, understand this, I'll recommend that you go back to the book and see how this has been done. The register remains same. This inductor, now we are using the parallel combination, that is the 5S and I0 over S for the inductor. And for the capacitor, we are using the series combination option. And for our ease, I have marked the various currents in the circuit. And now this voltage, which was V1 in S domain, has become V capital one, and which is the actually the node voltage here. And there is just one node, so we'll write the nodal equation. From here, you can see this current going out. That means V1 minus 10 over S, V1 minus 10 over S, divided by this resistance. Similarly, this current here is V1 divided by 5S, so V1 minus zero, you can, you, this is the zero point, V1 minus zero divided by 5S. And this is given already, so I0 over S, plus this current is V1 minus this voltage source divided by 10 over S. So this is the uh, nodal equation. And now we'll try to simplify this. So you can, I hope you can follow these steps. I have done all of these steps. Go through one by uh, each steps. From here, further simplification like 3, 3, uh, 10, 10 gets cancel here, S, S gets cancel here. And now also we have put an, in the value of the initial voltages and currents, I0 and V0. So here we're replacing I0 by minus I1, and here we're replacing V0 by uh, 5. So we were here, now we'll collect the like terms v1 on one side and the other on the other side, taking v1 common, taking the LCM, and moving this whole thing on the right hand side. Further simplifying, further simplifying, we get this term. And now, we can use the partial fraction. So we can write this as A divided by S plus one plus B divided by S plus two. So this is in form of partial fraction. We need to find the value of A and B now. And we know the technique, we'll use this technique that A is S plus one, V one, S. S is equal to minus one. Again, if you uh, don't understand this, I'll ask you to go back to my previous videos or uh, check from the book. 
Okay, now S1, V1, S, V1, uh, this term, this whole term multiplied by S1, then so this will get cancelled. S1 and S1, so it is S2, and the limit is S is equal to minus 1. Putting in the values, A becomes 35. And similarly, B, S2, V1, S, S2, S2 gets cancelled from here. So S1 is in the denominator. Putting the value of S is equal to minus 2, we get minus 30 as the answer. Okay, so we had got this value of V1. And now we can easily move into the time domain. So taking the inverse Laplace, 35 and s plus 1 divided will become 35 e raised to the power minus t. Similarly here minus 30 and s plus 2 will give us e raised to the power minus 2 t. So this is the answer but in a neat form we can write it like this. We, we can write u t with these values plus v because u t is that this function is valid after t is equal to 0. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Let me know if you face any difficulties. Now we come to practice problem. For the circuit shown in figure, the so same circuit with the same initial condition. Now this is the same question as we had in example 16.4. Find the current through the inductor. So in the previous case, we had to find voltage here. Now we'll find the current through this inductor. Okay, so this current IT we call. We need to find this current. And if we take the help of the same circuit in S domain, exactly same. So from here you can see that to find IT we have to find this current I1 and I2. And then once we have found I1 and I2, if we take inverse Laplace then we'll find IT. So let's first of all find I1. I1 will be this voltage here divided by this impedance. So V1 over 5S. V1 we had already calculated in the previous uh, example 16.4 so we'll just take help from there this was the value of V1 so we'll put in here so 1 over 5s and V1 so this will become I1 now you can see there are three terms in the denominator so partial fraction will have three values A, B and C So this is I1 in the form of a fraction and this was the total value of I1. So we'll use now this technique to find A, S into I1 S. S into this value of I1, we'll use here, so S gets cancelled. So it is 8 S divided by S1 plus S2 value is s is equal to 0. So we'll putting the value of s we get uh, a is equal to 4. And similarly we'll do b, b multiply by the denominator s plus 1 i s following the same technique this this cancels this is remaining putting the value of s is equal to minus 1 from here and this will be minus 7. And similarly, C, the denominator, we multiply with the denominator of I1. This, this will cancel. This is remaining. And from here, you know, S plus 2 is equal to 0. Then S is equal to minus 2. So minus 2, minus 2. And putting in the value, we get 3. So I1 from here is in this form now. Now we have found this I1 and we also know I2 
i2 is i0 over s whereas i0 is minus 1 over s therefore i total will be the sum of the two so this plus this one and adding we get this form now final value of i s now we can easily transform into the time domain so taking inverse laplace this will be 3 minus 7 e raised to the power minus t because s plus 1 will give us e raised to the power minus t plus 3 e raised to the power minus 2 because s plus 2 will give us s e raised to the power minus 2 and in neat form we can write it like this multiply by unit step function ut so i hope you have been able to follow this let me know if you have find any difficulty so I can correct it. Thank you.